A tortilla that's fried to perfection, you could tell when you pull it out, it's fluffy, it's a little bubbly. You could tell that when someone's gonna bite it, it's gonna have this amazing crunch that's just gonna stop conversation. Mm -hmm. This is more of a Mexico City style flauta, which is gonna be uh, a little saucier. We almost like butter them up with cream. We top them with salsa verde de guacamole. So it's a guacamole base green salsa. And the red salsa is just a little bit of spice. And the cotija cheese gives you a little bit of saltiness and, and like cheesiness at, at the end. You taste everything. It's full of spice, it has sazon. I personally like all of the toppings. I like the green salsa with the sour cream and the um, cheese on top. It tastes amazing. Just, you can't find it anywhere else. I know that he gets really busy and the lines get really long, so I wanted to make sure I got here before the line got really crazy. Our lamb barbacoa, it's uh, Estilo Texcoco, which is my father-in-law's home state. So he brought back these recipes that were from family from a long time ago, and throughout the whole years has perfected this lamb barbacoa that loses some of that gaminess that is still juicy. Part of the tradition of it is using bencas. It's like a blue Weber agave leaf, avocado leaves, different spices, different seasonings, and steaming it for, for a very long time, approximately 12 hours. It's an art, making sure it gets nice and soft and, and succulent. Thank you. The chicken? Definitely. <laughs> mm. It's a chipotle uh, chicken tinga that we, that we stew for a few hours, drain it, we cool it, and we put it into the tortilla. So it's very fresh. We don't want it to be too dry, so the, the thigh gives a little bit of juiciness to it. Tomatoes, onions, you add a little bit of bay leaves, right? You add some spices to it. So we put it in our flauta. I mean, even when you fry it, what you smell when you get close to Los Dorados truck, you're smelling that chipotle, tomato, onions, like just heating up and like letting out their aromas out into the world, right? La charola is the pan that we use to fry the flautas. You put the perfect amount of oil, the perfect amount of flautas in there at a time, heats them efficiently. They look beautiful standing on the side of the charola. It's even like a show. You see the flame in the bottom and you know, the way that you can drop them in there and kind of make sure that they're getting cooked from the inside. Our charola specifically has been used with our family for, for generations and it was specially made for flautas and passed down to us. Every time we start our service, we use a little bit of each previous service's oil so we can keep that flavor each and every time that we fry flautas in it. It's like the mother oil that we've been using since the beginning. The tortilla that we make, it's particular to frying. There's a balanced uh, moisture content, and you could even see it in the flautas, the way that they fry, so it doesn't absorb uh, oil, and uh, you get the crunch without the oiliness of it. Man, these are crispy, delicious. Los Dorados started the day I went to a baptism and I had my father-in-law's flautas and fell in love with them and thought that everyone needed to try this. He was one of the first taqueros in LA. So everything that comes from Los Dorados is based off of a family recipe that's been going on for ages, for over five decades. For him to allow us to, to use the family recipes to create happiness, it's heartwarming. That's the energy that keeps keeps us going, that keeps me going. Mm. These are incredible. Ooh, wow, it's so good. It's like juicy chicken with a really crispy exterior. And all the sauces stick to the outside really well. No watery sauces here. The best time to eat them is right when they come out of the fryer. The inside is piping hot, steaming. And then the outside sauces are chilled, so you have that temperature difference too. The sauces are what really pull everything together. They complement the way that the chicken is spiced perfectly. These are hands down the best flatos I've ever had in my life, and quite possibly the best flatos I will ever have. <laughs> Social distancing. Cheers. <laughs>